show you my e.l.f. collection. As you know, I work for e.l.f., so I have all of their products because it's my job to be familiar with them in case we get queries. We do get quite a lot of queries from customers about products, on how to use them, which colours. So really, it's good for me to have them in front of me. I also use an awful lot of these personally and professionally, so I thought you might be interested to have a little dig around in these drawers with me and I'll show you what I have. It's also quite interesting to see them in the flesh as it were. So first off, HD powder. These things are a little bit too big to keep in the drawers. So we have a pot of HD powder and I like to keep the boxes of at least one of the products from um, each of the colours and the ranges just so I can see what you're seeing um, when you have them at home. Uh, the new mist and set spray uh, it's it's a really it's just clear fluid that you spray onto your face you just lightly mist it over from about a meter away and it sets your makeup but it's also a refresher spray so let's say you've come to the end of your working day and you're going out powder your face to just pep up your foundation and spray a little bit of this just to give it a bit of oomph to look fresh again and there it is brush shampoo and brush cleaner um, I use this brush cleaner uh, when I've got creamy, sort of messy things and I just want to give things a quick clean so I can wash them properly next time. So everything is kind of organised into, these are all single products by the way, I've got sets which are over here on these shelves which um, I might show you later. Um, these are all individual items and they're kind of grouped according to um, things like blushes, lipsticks and also by range. So in here for example, I have all of the Studio lip products, pretty much all of them. And um, let's take that out and I'll show you what we have in here. So you can see I have all of the different colours. That's the Lip Primer and Plumper. That's the Lip Definer and Shaper. We have the beautiful Minty Lip Glosses. We have the 2-in-1 Lip Glosses. Um, I've got um, the Lip Lock Pencil, which is brilliant, it's really effective. Lip Stains. Uh, those are mineral lip pencils, just to run out of room in my mineral drawer. And then the SPF 15 lip balm. So that's all there is in there. And we have more Studio Compacts. Um, and these are all face products, Studio face products. So my personal favourite, which always lives in my bag when I'm going out, is the Translucent Mattifying Powder. Um, here we have all of the bronzers as well. So. Uh, warm bronzer, the contouring powders, I think Complexion Perfection is in here as well. It's golden bronzer, cool bronzer. So I like to keep them all together, I mean imagine, and that's Complexion Perfection. Here we have the Shimmer Palette in there, um, I have some blotting sheets, I've got the Studio Concealers in there as well. These are all of the Studio Press powders, which are excellent. They're really excellent. If you can find the colour that you like the most um, and that suits you, they're actually really good. You can use them wet or dry as well. And then I have all of the Studio blushes. I think that one is Candid Coral. There go. Those are just everyday products. Those are backups. I have my little trusty eyebrow kit in dark. The eye transformer. Uh, cream eyeliners, some of the cream eyeliners are in a different drawer. Liquid eyeliners, um, and we have the shadow and liner pencils, all of the single eyeshadows, which are hugely, hugely underrated. They really are. You know, I use them, I just love to pick them up. And I think Raspberry Truffle, which is this one, is one of my favourite warm autumn colours because it's kind of a bronzy brown with a hint of pink in it. Totally underrated, but a really gorgeous colour. Shimmer eyeliner pencils, again very soft, very nice for using over the eyelid. Everyday eyeliner pencils, mascaras, studio mascaras as well. So they're all in there. Okay, this next drawer is a bit of a mixed bag. Um, so I have my mineral infused mascara in here, which is perfect. I use this for everyday wear. It's not very volumizing, but it does give you super black, glossy, well separated lashes. So it's just perfect for a day look. Um, then we have here, which is the eye primer and liner sealer. The um, primer side is probably my favourite primer um, because it's this lovely creamy texture which just blends really easily. 
it's generous too. Um, mineral blemish kit, people often ask how to use the mineral blemish kit. The instructions are on the back, but basically you can use this, if it suits your skin tone, you can use it as a mineral concealer. But I tend to use it before I go to bed, just on areas which, you know, look like they might be problematic. The eye uh, cream eye eyeliners, I've got the new ones here, that's gunmetal. Uh, a couple of concealers here, the under eye concealer. Again, I always keep a box because I want to refer to it. I've got a couple of these, again, Unsung Heroes, the concealer, pencil and brush. If you suffer from hyperpigmentation, you have any scars, they're, they're a total concealer. They're very good and very accurate. Face primer, again, excellent. I, do, I hope that these packages will change in the future because um, what people tend to do is, obviously, you, you pump out what you need and then you find that it's actually empty. But you can screw the neck off and find that there's a tube inside sometimes this tube becomes detached um, and there's always a lot of product left in there so you can either bang this on the table to get it down to the bottom so that tube will reach and suck it up okay this drawer has mineral products in it so it has mineral concealers mineral foundations mineral blushes the two glows so this one is shimmer you can see it's a very light color let's just open it up for you and that is a very light shimmery colour. It doesn't even come out that sort of colour. And here is bronzed, which is which all over there. Which is you can see it's not quite a matte bronze, but it is fairly dark. So the mineral boosters. So I love this mineral booster. This is the tinted one. And I've never found anything like it because it's tinted. It actually works to minimise my pores and to smooth out any fine lines and it keeps me shine free, which is really good. And the new mineral blushes. So they are the two mineral blushes, I think. I think this is a matte peachy and it's, it's really lovely. Every season you can wear this. It's really nice. So you can see how I've opened mine. I just poke one or two holes out. I do not remove the sticker simply because if you do, it, it really does all come out. Um, and here you can just see what I need. It's a tiny little bit which is contained in the top. Okay, in this drawer we have the Everyday Line face product. So I have all of the blushes here. And so that's one of them. If you're wondering how to open them, push up like that. Sometimes it's a bit stiff the first time you do it, so press down and push up, but remember to release your thumb or it will end up in the blush. I've done that, I have done that. That colour is Innocent, that one. My personal favourite, that I use quite a lot, um, is this one, which is Glow. It's really lovely. If I bring it up to the camera, you can see how sort of golden, it's lovely, it's really nice. Okay, so we have the all over cover sticks. These can be used as a foundation or a concealer. Just need to blend them down with warm fingers, brushes or sponges. We have one of our sort of hero products, which is this, which is the shimmering facial whip. This is a very nice color. I think it's Camilla. Uh, it suits everybody. It's kind of a, a silver pink. Tinted moisturizers. So you can see that's the size of the product. It's um, a, it's a generous thing to have because it's one pound fifty, and it's so easy to sort of you know you can buy several and um, and keep them in your bag, have them handy. A lot better than some bottles of foundation you get, which are glass bottles, big bottles. Tops come off really easily. These are really handy, and they have an SPF fifteen as well. Uh, we have the tone correcting concealers here. Here we go, tone correcting concealer. And then finally, the all over colour sticks. This one is warm orange, oh, sorry, warm peach. And it's a beautiful golden. I'm really attracted to sort of orangey golden colours like this. That one's very nice. Okay, here is probably my favourite drawer. And I think it's the thing that e.l.f. is probably the most famous for, which is the lip products. So here we have the new lipsticks from the core range, the £1.50 range, the sort of everyday essentials range. That's called Seductive. Uh, it's a very nice colour. Pull that one out. Nice everyday colour. 
and it's nice that you can see it. They do, they do get a bit messy there, you can see. I'm, I'm not the sort of most um, careful and sometimes I catch the end because they don't go all the way down and in. So just beware of that. Um, again, I think the super glossy lip shine, the SPF 15s, are the most popular item. Um, I just think they're wonderfully versatile. Anyone can wear them and they have a lovely finish, an amazing smell. This drawer always smells really nice when I pull it out. That one is watermelon, I think. Are you watermelon? That one is juiced berry, sorry. Very nice, sort of very nice natural colour that would suit everybody. We have the Hypershine Lip Glosses. These are one of my favourite products. They're fantastic. They're really easy to keep in your bag. Great colours. Again, the liquid lipsticks, brilliant, really handy, not messy at all. Have a nice pad. Two-in-one plumping lip glazes, again, lovely colour choice, all sort of nice, natural, fun colours. And then sadly, Candy Shop Lip Tins. Um, these are being discontinued in the US. They might be back, just in a different format, that's all. Um, so get them while you can. And then I've got a few of the lip pencils in there as well. Okay, this drawer is my mineral and everyday eyeshadows. So I've got a little bit of primer here. And then all of the mineral eyeshadows. I've got a few duplicates that um, I had before I got the whole set. Then we have the two-in-ones. So those are the two-in-one shadows. That one is Mocha Swirl, I think. Ooh, I tell. Yeah, I think that one's Mocha Swirl. Um, and then you get the cream version as well. That one I think is Butter Pecan. Um, so again, I do use those. Then nice bases, but you do need to put something over the top. And again, all of the mineral eyeshadows are here. This is kind of an eyelash eyebrow drawer, so we keep um, eyelashes. This is the Dramatic Eyelash Kit. See, the lashes are very long and sort of fluttery. This is the natural looking um, individual lash. You can see I've used these, I think I used these um, last, I used these for a wedding. And you can see you get a little cluster, if I bring those in a little, you get a cluster of like five or six lashes with um, varying lengths, so they look really nice. And I've used these ones, those are the natural ones. I keep my little compacts in here, um, eyebrow kits, um, this is the Treat and Tame, eyebrow Treat and Tame, lifter and filler. Um, these eyebrow stencils are fab if uh, you want to change the shape of your eyebrows because it's going to take a little while for them to grow, so you need to fill them in. But I also keep little compacts. You might recognise these from the Facebook competition that we ran a couple of months ago. Um, and I designed these little ones, just stuck on over the top. And in there, I keep my nighttime, so nighttime palette. So we have two sort of smoky colours, nice blush, nice lip. And this is my sort of wild, earthy palette. Um, and that was just a piece of foil that I drew on. I actually used nail polish to, uh, to create this sort of leopard effect. And you can see those are more earthy, warm colours. So we have um, two lip products. I think I probably used that one as a blush as well. And then we have this lovely golden and sage colour as well. Okay, nearly, nearly at the end. This is the penultimate drawer. In here I have all of the brightening eyeshadow quads. This one is really well used because it's actually a bridal palette that I use for sort of winter weddings. It looks really nice, especially on sort of Asian and black skin tones. It's lovely. Liquid eyeshadows, very good if you have oily lids, and you can also use these as eyeliners. Um, when you buy a pencil, you always get sharpness. I've got tons of those in there, and some of my custom eyeshadows and lip products and blushes that I haven't put in a compact. Okay, final drawer is mineral lip products. So in here I have all the mineral lip glosses and all of the mineral lipsticks. I think there are so many different colours. Just sort of a quick, you know, there are at least nearly 20 colours. Um, and then here we go, my favourite lip gloss is that one. It's absolutely stunning. It's called Dare and it's a mineral range. And you can see that that colour would suit everybody. It's a really nice sheer colour. If I pop a bit on the back of my hand, you'll see that it actually, it doesn't come out, it just comes out as a slightly warm colour. It's really nice. Very pretty. Lipsticks, well there's something for everybody in here. Let's see, where's my ultimate? 
everyone likes the sort of um the sort of the nymph colours, the sort of uh, pale sort of colours and that's from nymph and runway pink and so on. Whereas I like things like this, which just for an everyday look, you know, just look really nice. And you can see that that is just bare brown. It is what it says it is, but it feels nice and soft and creamy. The lipsticks have different sort of formulas. Some are shimmery, some are more matte, some are sort of semi-matte. Let's take a more pigmented colour. And they are really quite pigmented. This one is a really good one to show you. It's Cheerful Cherry. And there it is. That's lovely and it's so soft. Beautiful for this season. And here, just briefly, you can see where I keep all of my kits. You can see all the beauty encyclopedias. These are the Get the Look sit sets. Um, here's the large makeup collection. Um, a lot of these, I think, are discontinued now. So there we go. These are all my sort of kits. Um, a lot of these are discontinued now because they've been replaced. So those are the old beauty encyclopedias which have been replaced. Um, we have the lovely large makeup collection and we have some of the Get the Looks here. So that's it. That's my elf storage. Down on the shelf below, I have these sorts of tough boxes which are full of nail polish as well. So I keep all of my elf nail polishes in there. So, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.